In this video, I will show you how you can create your own meme token, add liquidity and host a pre-sale. And the benefit is it is fast, it's easy and it's super cheap. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get right into it. Now I made this video as well in 2021, but there I showed you how to program it yourself. And although you can just copy paste, there are now in 2023 way better ways to do it. You have these platforms where you can just fill in what you want want and it generates a token automatically for you so you do not need to know anything about programming at all. And since the video got half a million views, I might be the reason that meme coin season started back then. No, I'm just kidding. But let's start one right now. Now there are hundreds of thousands of meme coins all over the internet. CoinGecko hasn't listed a lot of them. So in my next videos, I will also go over how to manage it, how to get it listed on CoinGecko, how to maybe get it on an exchange actually. How do you build a community behind it? It's all what you need to do. I mean, making the token is one, but that's not really all that you got to do. Then the work really begins. But let's not waste any time and let's get right into the how. And although I'm going to show you right away how it works, you want to think about a couple of things before you begin. So you have to start with a plan. What's your plan? Why are you making this token in the first place? Are you going to make this token to rock people? Don't do it. it. There are already scammers enough in this crypto space. We don't need you here. Anyway. Once you have your plan, you have to think about your funds because making a meme token, like I said, it's super cheap. You do not have to pay a lot for it. But if you want to add liquidity, if you want to do some marketing, that's where the money comes in, right? You can make a meme token, drop it online and hope that some people buy it. But if you really want to do it well, you have to go and do this strategically. So already think about how you want to market the token exactly. Like I said, in one of the next videos, I will be going over how to do that. So subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notification, but you want to have that plan beforehand. And if it turns out that you don't have any funds to do it, then you should not do it in the first place. Now, if you want people to buy and sell your token, your token needs liquidity, all right? If you do not have, this is a queue whatever liquidity if you don't have liquidity then the price impacts will be too high and then at that moment if people buy your token yes the price will pump a lot but then you have wills in your project and if it turns out to be a success these wills can dump these tokens wreck your price chart and then it's really hard to pack it up again so you want a good start now we're going to tackle this problem right here because if you feel like okay i have the plan i have the creativity i now know how to make this meme token but i want the liquidity to be added not by me but by the people it's also possible you can choose to do a pre-sale for your meme token so that's also what we're going to discuss today how do you put your token into pre-sale because then you can choose that the funds that you collect with this pre-sale to add them at the liquidity so let's not waste any time let's get into it by the way please like the video like like the video <laughs> would help me a lot now there are a couple of platforms that you can choose to use for this for example we have pink cell and a lot of people they maybe already know pink cell because this is where people host pre-sales but you can also create your own coin right there in the next video i will be going over another platform that you can use to create your own coin but let's start off with uh, pink cell now how how do you do that uh, actually well, you can do it right here. If you go to Launchpads, it says create token and you can create a Launchpad. Actually, you create a pre-sale because this is the Launchpad, but you know, you get the point. And then you have to have your token address right here. So therefore, you first have to have your token, right? So therefore, you can click create token here or you can go to this list and you see create token. Now, you can see a couple of things. You can create a standard token nothing crazy right just a token with a name a symbol how many decimals and the total supply you can also choose to create a liquidity generator token right and if you do that then you can fill in how much percent of every buy or sell you want to go to the liquidity now you can also choose to enter a charity marketing address or your own address as the developer and fill in how much percent of the sales and buys you want to go to that address. There's also the option 
creating a baby token and this was quite of a hype back in the day and what that was basically people came up with baby xrp for example and if you then buy that token and you hold the token and everybody buying after that they uh, will make sure that you get rewards in xrp for example i however don't really recommend doing that um, you can do that but it's not really like that hype is kind of gone maybe it'll come back maybe you can start that hype if you pull it off very well but it's not what most people do right now and you can choose for some kind of a combination a buyback baby token so the same goes for the reward token the liquidity fee but also how much percent of the tokens are being bought back with that amount and what the reflection fee is going to be exactly so let's say someone buys a hundred dollars worth of your token and the reflection fee in this case is eight percent then that person gets you know 92 dollars actually worth of these tokens and eight percent of that transaction is being divided by all the holders with the token that you came up with so uh dogecoin bnb whatever it could be anything now in this case let me make a token to show you how it works actually and it says right here 0.2 bnb that is what it will cost you to generate your token so bnb is now around 300 dollars so that's 60 dollars and you have your token you have everything set you don't need to mess around with contracts and all of that it's that easy so the name of your token this is something that you want to have thought about already right if you were making your plan you probably already know what kind of token you want to generate and therefore you probably already know what the name is I'm just showing you an example. So, uh, I don't know, for motion, meme, for meme -tion. Then the symbol, right? The symbol is that if you take a look at, the, the, these are the thickers, right? If Dogecoin, symbol is Doge. Shiba Inu, ship. Pepe is Pepe, whatever. Floki is Floki. Doge Elon Mars is just Elon. So come up with something that's not too hard and that everybody can remember. And I for meme -tion, so um, F me. I don't know if that's smart, but whatever. Now you want to think of a total supply. So how much tokens are there in total, right? The max, the total, the supply, there can be anything else. With meme coins, they do it very smart, right? What people with meme coins is they play a psychological game. If you, for example, take a look at Bitcoin, you see that there are 21 million tokens. That's it, that's the max, that's the total. But if you now take a look at, for example, Shiba Inu, you'll see that there are 590 trillion tokens. So the price therefore is very low because you have a lot of tokens, but even if you have a high market cap, the price is still very low. And that's the psychological game that meme coins are playing because the investors feel like it is cheap because they see a low price and not necessarily a low market cap, right? So people always talk with meme coins about, whoa, if this gets to a dollar, right? And that's what you have to make use of. It's not uh, that you are fooling people, but yeah, that, that's the part of the marketing that a meme coin is playing. So the FME token, I don't know, man. Um, somebody call 911, I, I don't know. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So these are a lot of tokens. So now we have a high supply, right? So if people want to buy the token and we have a good market cap, price still will be low. Then you go with the router. Sounds hard, but if you click it, makes sense. Where do you want your token to get listed? Right? Where, where if people want to buy it, where should they go? Well, I think most of the people, since we are working, but we haven't even said that, with the BNB chain, it's not the Binance Smart Chain anymore, the BNB chain, I think most people go with PancakeSwap. And then you got to fill this in, right? And, and, and these are the transaction fees. You do not want to make these too high. Right? Otherwise, people have to set the slippage very high. They pay $100 in tokens. They get way less than that, actually. But it's a liquidity generator, so you want something. So the first one is transaction fee to generate yield. What does that mean, actually? That's if someone buys the token and you have this, let's say, set at 2%, then 2% of that buy will be divided amongst all the current holders already. So I think that, you know, 1% is fine and you can set it a little higher of course it's more attractive to people but don't, again don't set it too high because then people just don't get a lot in return uh, once they buy it then you want to set a transaction fee to generate liquidity 
right? So if people buy or sell, that part goes into the liquidity. Now that's a kind of smart move, right? So what do we want to do with that? I want to set that at 3%. And then there's a charity or a marketing address and uh, charity, you know, charity, charity. Are people actually doing that with crypto? I mean, the option is there, but most people abuse that kind of, right? Just be honest about it. This is the marketing address and every transaction, 2% goes there so we can, uh, you know, do some flyers or, or ads or whatever, uh, promotional stuff. You know, use your own address, set up a new address for that. That's the dev wallet uh, kind of, but don't really mix it with your personal, personal address. I would say have a separate address for that. And then how many percent of every transaction is going over there? Well, let's set that at 3%, for example. Now then you have the choice to implement the pink auto buy system and if you click that you have a tutorial on how it works actually but you can choose to not do that and what is it you can blacklist people for example you can set up certain times that it's not possible for people to buy more than so and so much tokens you can do it but on the other hand you don't you do you do not have to necessarily an anti-bot system is good and it's good that they implement it but in this case i will go without it Plus, if you want to enable it, the first time you want to enable that, you have to pay a one-time fee of one BNB. So that's quite expensive. And I want to show you in this video how to do this the cheap way, right? So we are not going to go with that. So in that case, we can now click generate token and it asks you to pay 0.2 BNB right here. So currently including fees, $70. So let's confirm that and let's create our own token right now. And since this is on the Binance Smart Chain, this is all pretty fast. Within a couple of seconds, you will see that this page is changing and we can go on uh, with the rest. Here we go. So the token is created. We have Fomimshin FME 911 billion uh, total supply. This is the contract address for the token. 1% is going to the taxes. 3% is going to the liquidity and the other uh, 3% I think it was is going to the marketing wallet doesn't show it right now but we just filled that in as well so copy the contract address save it somewhere uh, use it for later now you can click on view transaction it takes you to the Binance smart chain scan and here you can see that I just minted these tokens now the tokens are on your address for now so if you go to your metamask then you can click on your assets and import tokens right here and just paste the contract address it sees the fme token right here and you'll see the balance so you can import the tokens and you have them on the metamask so you have all the tokens now if you feel like oh i've got so many right now i can sell them right now and get rich no because people are not buying it yet from the moment you add liquidity to it it's on the market and people can buy it okay so there are a couple of things that you can do right now if you feel like okay i have the funds to add my own liquidity cool then you go do that and how can you do that exactly very simple you go to pancake swap you go to the trade section and click on liquidity and here you can choose to add liquidity and then it asks you to which tokens you want to add that to so the first one is your token so you click right here on bnb and you paste your contract address right there the fme token and you import it understand done you want to add liquidity um, with the pair that you want people to be able to buy your token with so if you add liquidity with cake for example eh, can I mean, PancakeSwap is routing it, so people can still buy it with BUSD, for example. But then if they fill that in, it first has to go through Cake and then it goes back. So you can also choose if you feel like, man, most people are probably going to buy this with BUSD. Add liquidity between your token and BUSD. Then you have the choice how many fees you want to go with. Um, if you go with the add version to liquidity, it goes with, I thought, 0.25%. Yeah, that's 0.25%. But since PancakeSwap is just routed to or upgraded to version 3, I would say go to version 3 and just go with 0.25%. It's nothing too crazy. Now, here you want to puzzle a little bit yourself because it says this pool must be initial, in, in, initialized. I'm too Dutch for that. Before you can add liquidity. So to do that, select a starting price for the pool. So you want to 
you know, think of yourself, not necessarily what price the token is going to get, but what the market cap is going to be. For example, if I say that my token has to be $1, can do that. But the problem is I have almost a trillion tokens. So that would give it around a trillion dollar market cap. Am I with my current funds able to add so much liquidity to it? Because if I want to go use the half of my tokens to add that liquidity, then this is how much USD I have to pay to do that. That's $400 billion. I'm short with like $5 or so. So shit, it's not working. So my token has to be cheaper. So I can do the math, of course. Let's say you feel like I want to start off with a $20,000 market cap. Okay, 20, one, two, three. How many tokens do we have? 911, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. To make it a little easier, that's this, including two extra zeros. So one, two, three, four, five. So seven zeros and then a two. So in that case, if I want to use the half of my tokens to set the price, I have to pay $9,000 to add liquidity myself to at least get to that market cap. And the higher the liquidity, the more stable the price is, the harder it is for people to dump the price on you as well. But what if you feel like, ah, I don't want to pay like 10K to make my own token. Um, yeah, then you should not do this. Then you can think of hosting a pre-sale. So if we are back at Pink Cell, you have your contract address right here. Let me just copy it for, just to be sure. And you can here click on create launchpad. And here you can make your own Launchpad, right now I have the token address right here so I paste my token address and it already sees exactly what it's about for me for I don't even know my own token F me nine decibels and the currency you want people to pay with if they are going to participate in your lunch you can go with any of these now it's gonna cost you money right pink sales not doing this for free so you can choose how you want to pay this fee so five percent of the busd raised only or you can choose of two percent of the busd that you raise plus two percent of the tokens that are sold and to create the pool you have to pay one bnb now there are two simple things here as well listing options auto listing or manual listing I would go with the uh, other listing it says right here for other listing after you finalize the pool your token will be auto listed on the x in this case that's pancake swap and you can go with an affiliate program so that people can spread the word about your pre-sale so you can enable that as well and you can say the amount of race currency that uses for the affiliate program so if people uh refer each other refer refer, refer each other to your lunch pad, you can say, all right, thanks. You get 3% extra. Uh, if you click next, that's also where you can get to set the price, right? Because if I spend one BUSD, how many tokens will I receive? Well, we just did the math basically, right? If we want to have a certain market cap with this amount of tokens, then that's the price, give or take. That's the exact same math that you have to do right now as well. In this case, I will go with this amount i don't care because i'm not gonna line shit but you have to do that math all right then whitelist do you want people to be whitelisted so they can participate only if you want them to participate or do you feel like ah oh, everybody can join this whole video is basically step number five or so right because like i said first you want to have your plan you want to build a website you want to build a community you have to have a logo for the token you want to have a roadmap a good white paper you want to have everything done already only then you can choose to whitelist people then you can make the sale more exclusively so that after the sale everybody feels like okay now it's on the open market and now i want to buy it as well in that case you can give your pre-sale buyers your hard community a benefit of being early in this case disable now you want to set a soft cap and a hard cap how much money do you want to raise let's say we want to raise like 60 one two three thousand dollars and the soft cap must be at least 25 percent of that so a minimum of 15 thousand right so let's make it 22 one two three whatever then minimum buy is there a minimum buy you want people to buy do you feel like okay you can buy with a dollar you have to uh, you have to uh, you know at least spend like well ten dollars in this case and do you want people to have a maximum buy why would you want that you don't want any wills in your project right if a lot of people buy for ten dollars they're joining your community and one guy or girl whatever is very rich or 
they don't care about money or they made a typo and they feel like, oh, I'm not going to spend like 20k on this. Yeah, then, then he can mess up your price chart at any time. $2,000, I don't know, choose something. Refund type, what if your pre-sale doesn't get sold out? Do you want the tokens to get refunded to those people and basically cancel your whole uh, pre-sale? Or do you want to burn the rest of the tokens so the supply gets lower? You can choose for burn. Again, select the router right here. You want it to be on PancakeSwap, I think. PancakeSwap liquidity. So let's say you raise 60k, right? How much of that money do you want to be added to the liquidity? Well, let's say half of it, right? $30,000 and I will recommend you doing more. And this is percent by the way, I suck. So you want it to be 50% and it has to be greater than 50. So I agree with pink, pink, pink sale, by the way, it should be more than that. So let's say 70%. The pancake swap listing rate, all right? So that is kind of comparable to what you do right here. Like how much are people getting for $1 in the pre-sale? And also how much are people getting for a dollar when it's on the open market? So you can choose to make that the same. So do that math again, or you can choose to yeah, make it a little bit higher when it comes out. So let's go with this number right here and make it a little higher than that so it's slightly higher on the open market which is a good reason for people to join the pre-sale when do you want to start your pre-sale well, pick a day that suits for you i don't know and when do you want to end the pre-sale do you have a big community and do you feel like this is gonna sell out in no time and make it too, don't make it too long do you feel like yeah i want to you know um, give it time and i will make it like a month or so right people they, they buy the pre-sale and i want to make wait a month to get their tokens um but but choose what's best for you right so let's go with this right here and it's pretty cool liquidity lock up days so this amount is going to get added to the liquidity right now how many days do you want to lock your liquidity so that you cannot rock the project if you're legit I don't see any reason why you should lock the liquidity for a short while. So in this case, we can go with, for like example, 2000 days. And then very important, if you are familiar with pre-sales, you want to think of this vesting contributor. So once the pre-sales over, people get their tokens, but do you want people to get their tokens all at once and dump completely on the market so that once it comes out, you see one big red candle? Or do you want to have a vesting period that people get a little bit at the TGE, the token generation event, and then every month or day or week a little bit more? I recommend you doing this. So how many percent do you want to give these people when the pre-sale ends? Well, I wouldn't go any higher than 40%, let's say 25, okay? Vesting period each cycle. So how many days do people need to wait to get their new vesting uh, all of the time? So let's say they get them every two weeks, so 14 days. And how much percent do they get each vesting? Well, they first got 25%. Uh, let's say they then get 15%. Uh, now, this is where I will stop doing this because I don't have a website set up. I don't, do, I, I don't have all of that, but this is where you can keep going. Of course, you want to upload your logo. So they add the logo automatically, your website. So the people that see the pre-sale know exactly where to find the website. Same goes Facebook, Twitter, you know, the complete uh, socials. And you want to give your token a description as well of what it's does what it is and that's how you create your token now again stay tuned to the channel because i first wanted to drop a video on how to do this actually but like i said five times already there are way more steps you have to do before that so you actually know how to do it and proceed and how to market it and how to gather a community how to get your website together all of that so subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification please like the video if you appreciate this content and i'll see you very soon for the update and don't scam people and if you do you didn't see this from me all right bye